Hey y'all, this is Brittany. Hopefully I can fit this all in this video, but here is my packaging swap. So if you saw my video of me revealing what my partner did for me, here's what I put together and I just wanted to share the kit and everything with you guys. So basically, um, I sent more of what we needed to, but that's how I am. But what we had to have um, for, so the kits, we had to have one kit of 10 bag toppers, 10 bags, 10 shapes boxes, 10 policy or envelopes, like policy coin, policy and or coin envelopes or envelopes, one packaging kit of your choice. And then in addition, you have to have a crinkle paper mix, uh, two confetti mixes, one sequin mix, 10 doilies, five yards of trim, Three yards of baker's twine, five yards of crepe paper, three tassels, ten gift tags, size number three, five bows, one package of jewels, washi sample, at least five, one bag full of die cuts, one bag full of knickknacks. So I'm gonna, I did a whole bunch of different knick like embellishments and stuff. Um, you know, and just basically anything you can do for to embellish your boxes and swaps and things like that. So, um, plus candy, you had to send candy. Um, I have this here, this is just something I'm sending some of the stuff in, this packaging, I just had it in with this stuff. So let's see, um, here's some just additional stuff I'm sending her. So I bought a pack of black and white pattern paper and I sent her one of each sheet, so I believe there's I don't know, maybe 20 sheets of black and white pattern paper. She said she liked black, white, and purple. So I did black, white, purple, silver, and gold. So that was my thing. So I'm sending her that. And then in here, we have, there's a couple of these sheets. And hopefully I can do this quickly. So there's, I'm sending her a couple, oops, they're backwards. I'm sending her a couple of these. These are from Recollections from this year. So I'm sending her that. And then I believe this is from Recollections last year. So I'm sending her two gold and two black. So I have the bones, I have the bats, spider webs, and then just a filigree. So that's being sent to her. Because I didn't cover like the bags or the envelopes. Like I want her to decorate everything on her own. And then um, there's I believe two or three of the x-rays acetate pieces in here for her. So we have that. Um, here's my set of boxes. So we have a haunted house. A couple coffin boxes. Um, I threw in these boxes which are pre-made. Um, one opens from the top bottom. This one flips open like this. And then there is, I think, four or five milk cartons in here. This is what this is. She said she liked vintage, too. Vintage and witches. So that's kind of what I went with. Um, and I'm just pulling from what I have in my little basket here. Then for my bags, and I sent her more than ten. And I said, and we can send all different, they could be all the same. So here's what I did for my bags. So I'm sending her one of these holographic um, spiderweb treat bags. And I'll package this back up. Um, I have two plain white glossine, glossine bags. Um, I have this one, which is punched and folded at the top, so you put ribbon through it. So we have that damask one. We have two regular purple paper bags. We have this paper bag that has an opening with acetate with a mouth. There's these two patterned gloss, glossine bags and they're purple and polka dots. And I have two craft bags and then I have these two smaller coin envelope bags, like coin bags, like treat bags. So that's for the bags and I'll put them back in when I have the chance. And then, um, these are my treat toppers. So I have some of the small ones, these scalloped ones, and then this larger one. So I just have them in, you know, black and white, cr creamy, 
and purple, silver, all those colors. So I'm not going to open that one. This one's a little self-explanatory, so I won't open this one, but um, there's a lot more than 10 in here. So there's some large craft envelopes. There's two of the coin envelopes from Target, one from last year, one from this year. Um, there's some pockets, some regular white envelopes, some more craft envelopes, white envelopes, purple envelopes, this envelope, and then there's this one. So there's a ton of different envelopes in there for her to decorate and do. Um, then I think those are all the kits. And then my surprise kit was I made her the, I'm going to like label everything, but this is, um, I made, um, you guys know how I did the pencils. So mine is like a little, the pencil treat kit and I did 12 instead of 10. So there's 12 pencils. I cut out 12 of the back pieces, 12 pattern pieces, and then the little twist tie like cut to put, you know, to tie around the pencil through the holes so she has everything. And then she can either leave them plain, decorate them, you know, do what she wants. So there's that. Excuse me, I just got the hiccup. <laughs> then I have, you know, my bag of crinkle paper. So I bought her a full bag of purple and I just put a bat up there. Um, I'm sending her some pipe cleaners. I just tied a bow around them. There's some big fluffy purple ones, big fluffy black ones, glitter black ones, glitter purple, and then some plain white ones. So I'm sending that to her. Um, so the trims, um, I have them on tag. So I have the purple eyelash. I have black lace. Um, I have this brand new pack of that leather from last year from Target. I have this really pretty ribbon and they all have like the, um, a lot of them have like stick pins. And then I have this gold beaded trim. So yep, there's that. My washi samples I put on a purple pumpkin, so I have skeletons, witches, black and white stripes, the crows, and then boo. And I gave her a good amount. It's probably like a yard of each, maybe more. Um, here's some of the knickknacks. Again, I'm going to package them up all together. I have this little container and it has some of the glow in the dark bones in it from Michaels. Um, there's, from the Dollar Tree, there's, um, Two of the glitter black clips and two of the purple back clips. I have two purple spiders from Dollar Tree. I have a pack of the little itty bitty spiders from Target. Um, I got a bunch of clothespins for her. Glitter purple, solid purple, solid black, glitter black, white. Um, there's some with sayings, some pattern ones. There's a rose gold one I think in here right there with skulls there's this skeleton one and then there's one with the bat wings you can see that sorry about the glare um then I have my doilies and I sent her more than 10 so I have um I believe I have holographic gold rose gold um black and craft um then I'm also sending her these felt bats from Target. I have the multicolored purpley and black glitter one, the black one, and the purple one. Um, also part of the knickknacks, I have some glow in the dark bugs. Um, I have some of these cupcake picks. So there's a gold spider web, two witch hats, and two bats, glittery bats. Here's my tag. So I have some small ones. I have some like this. I have some regular one. I just gave her a whole bunch. There's more than 10 there. Um, let me see. Um, here's part of the knickknacks and also, um, my, so we had to put, put bling and then we also had to put like rhinestone, like, um, not sticky back, if that makes sense. I have these black and white um, 3D potion label stickers in the back. My bling, I gave her a witch broom, and then I gave her a push pencil and a pen for herself. So that was included. Um, 
Then what I did, so for her tassels, I have two that I made. I gave her like four options. So these are my keychains I made. So this one's black and, or, um, black and gold and it has a cockroach on it. And then this one's purple, black, and white with the skeleton and this one has beads on it. So there's that. And then I gave her um, one of the pumpkin black jingle bells. And then I have this tulle pom-pom tassel. So she's going to get four instead of three. Um, here's her twine. So I took some spools and I, there's obviously more than three yards here, but uh, I mean, I just kept wrapping I have so much twine. So I have purple and white, gray and white, and black and white. And these, um, and I just taped them so they wouldn't come undone. So there's those. Um, I'm sending her some like gauze material. That's another extra. Crepe paper. There's way more than needed here. And I, you know, put paper clips on them so she can use the paper clips. So I gave her a light purple, a dark purple, a white, and a black. Um, I gave her, here's another extra. I gave her some cupcake liner. So we have gray solid ones, purple solid ones, black and white polka dots, crafts, spider web pattern, um, what else is in here? Spider web pattern, and then I have some mini ones, um, oh, I have silver, like silver foiled, gold foiled, purple, and white, smaller ones, so there's, that's another extra. Here's some more goodies, a bunch of little chip pieces uh, that I only used pieces that coordinated with what was going on. So there's a whole little thing of that. Those are from Target. I think we all know. I started making some of the labels for my stuff. Um, let's see. The candy I'm sending her is, I have some peanut butter taffies. Um, and then I have these peeps and then she loves caramel like apple anything or um so I found this at Target and I'm sending her that lollipop even though it doesn't go with the colors but you know um I'm also sending her one of the notebooks I made so that one my die cuts I have here and I sent her a bunch so I want to do I do that I can't speak I do want to go through this with you guys kind of just give you an idea of what I'm sending and I'm gonna go backwards because I want to keep them in this order so I have a corrugated pumpkin vintage bingo card I have the coasters from Martha Stewart this year you know just a whole bunch of things here's another doily um, tag we got a spider crow one of the ghosts um, just some cut strip pieces from patterned paper. I have a couple of the pieces from the new collection from Michaels. You know, I used one on here. Here's a larger crow. Um, I have these vintage pieces. Um, but the fronts is what I'm really focusing on. You know, that go with the... They are double-sided, but the fronts go better with the paper theme and she likes vintage so I wanted to incorporate some of that. I have that card. I have the ghost. I have the glitter pieces from Dollar Tree. I have the skull and crossbone. Here's another tag. This one has like the beaded stuff that's from Target from a couple years ago. Um, here's another one of the Dollar Tree pieces. We got this one which is a little handmade thing. Got some of the smaller spider webs um then I have some rat die cuts one's glittery one's not and I have a couple of the glittery ones from Walmart and then the coaster other coaster from Martha Stewart and I do want to put these back in the bag so they don't go all over the place um so that's the package of die cuts um sending her and I love putting together like kits and stuff like this I just find it's just so much fun and now everything doesn't want to fit in the bag come on go back inside okay fixed it all right cool all right my 
camera's about to shut off. So, here's my rhinestones, a bunch of silver ones. And then I packaged like this in a little coffin. No, that's a, not a coffin. That's a cauldron. Um, here's one of my confetti mixes. So I punched paper, sequins, googly eyes, some punched glittery spiders. So there's one. Here's another one, and it's all spiders. And then this one is my sequin mix. So, and I sent her a bunch. Because I made... It, I made it like I filled like a whole entire like cereal bowl <laughs> so and I have leftover and then so some of it I want to package up in this which I'm also giving her that and then I have this cute little zombie bag that I altered like a long time ago and there's just some goodies in here from her there's a bath bomb there's the little grow bats um, there's a beverage holder and a little magnetic notepad so yeah, I'm going to go package it up and maybe you'll swap, see me box it up and stuff. So yeah, bye guys.